Hey, what's going on, guys? This is your host, Bad Boy Thwag420. And the audio is a little choppy. It sounds kind of like shit. It's because I am not using this. I'm doing an, or an unorthodox video. Um, you know, continuing the nerd stuff series. And I want to make this video to help people out because, like, look, I'm a pretty smart dude. I know audio and tech pretty well. However, when it comes to, like, mixing and, you know, multiple channel multiple channels and just all this crazy shit I, I i don't know much about it i honestly don't so i spent a lot of time trying to figure out how am i going to stream content from my main gaming pc using a separate pc it sounds easy but it is, and it is however getting the audio is incredibly difficult so i made this diagram and i'm going to try to explain it as quickly as possible um because there's a lot of videos out there and i think they all fucking suck People just ramble on about stupid bullshit that doesn't fucking matter, and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go get straight to the fucking point. So thank you for watching. Um, so first things first, who is this video for? This video is for people who want to game on a PC. You know, they have a main PC that they they play you know their AAA titles on. Now they want to stream with a second PC, the stream PC, and they want to use that stream PC to put their gaming content on Twitch or YouTube or whatever. How do you do that? How do you accomplish that? So for the person who wants to do that, you're in luck because I did the homework. I did the research. Trial and error. I've streamed, you know, over 15, 20 hours testing the shit out and it's good. So let's look at this diagram really quick. We're going to start to the left, move our way to the right. So your main PC is going to be connected to, uh, obviously, you know, your EVGA uh, or, or just your video card is obviously inside of it. So you're putting your, the images from the video card to your personal monitor or your main monitor. For me, it's the BenQ XL2420TE. Now, that EVGA GTX 1070 video card in my PC is connected to the Elgato capture card. It's connected into the uh, import, not the output, the in import. Um, and now, and that's it. And then the streaming PC is connected to a separate monitor. So you can see what the fuck you're doing with stream labs. The streaming PC is also connected to the condenser mic. I'm not using the condenser mic. I'm using the microphone on this he Sennheiser headset. And uh, this is actually really dope. I'm going to put a link in the description for this. Sennheiser is awesome. I'm not sponsored or anything, but, um, Hey, Sennheiser, you want to throw some money my way? I'll totally, you know, hawk your guys' products to deliver their services. Anyways. Um, and then of course your, the streaming PC also has Streamlabs installed and from Streamlabs you output everything that you're doing on your main PC to Twitch or YouTube or whatever, DTube. So how do you do this? How do you do this without spending money on fucking mixers? on you know without having to get virtual audio cables without having to do install a bunch of fucking stupid software just to be able to stream your games i made this as easy as possible so bear with me first thing you want to do is you want to go to this website and you're going to be downloading this application called um virtual uh voice meter banana all right so the first thing you're going to want to do is download this program called Voice Meter Banana. I'm going to leave a link in the description. This is what it looks like. Now, let's move from left to right. I'm going to tell you what you need to do and what not to do. So what you're not going to do is fuck with anything where it says hardware inputs. Unless you know what you're doing, unless you want to have a little bit more of an advanced setup, don't fuck with that. So what this does is all it hears all the noises your computer makes. So right now I have... Uh, you know, I have Discord in the background, so you probably hear the noises. Uh, I have a uh, Media Monkey up, so just to show you. Okay, so if you see in the center right here where it says virtual inputs, so the voice meter VAIO, right here, this bar is indicating to me that my computer is obviously making noises, and um, that is where you're going to be seeing the, the, the conversations on Discord. You know, you listening to music or even the sounds from your game. All right. So you want to be able to send that audio to your streaming PC. 
For whatever reason, Elgato's capture software is fucking garbage. And I'm going to, we're going to be looking at the second PC in a second. Um, so that's kind of redundant. So, uh, the way that you send the audio that we just heard to the second PC, top right hand corner, hardware out. So you want to output the audio to the other, uh, PC. So audio channel one. So the audio we just heard from my PC, we got to send it to my headphones because I got to hear my conversations. I got to hear my games. I want to hear my music. So that's audio channel one. Now, audio channel two is the Elgato capture device. So I mentioned earlier the Elgato capture device is uh, connected to my video card. And uh, video and audio signals can, you know, travel through the HDMI cable. So that's how we're able to do this. Very straightforward. Very straightforward. Very straightforward. So uh, that's why it says Elgato NVIDIA high definition audio. And boy, is it high definition. So that's pretty much it for Voice Meter Banana. It's that simple. I'm not fucking with these knobs here, the, these virtual knobs. I'm not clicking on any of these buttons. I'm not doing any of that whatsoever. I don't have to. I don't need to download virtual audio cables and do anything fucking stupid. I can hear, um, you know, I, the, the way virtu- Voice Meter Banana functions almost exactly like the this headset. Like, let's pretend Voice Meter Banana is like, an actual um, like mixer unit of some sort, and you plug that physically into your computer. And if you know what you're doing, you're put you're plugging it in in the right spots. It'll function just the same, except it's virtual. It's it's all digital, and it works really well. I have a beefy computer, so it puts no strain on my PC whatsoever. I have an i7 8700 K or 8700 not K. I don't need no. Um, you know, I have uh, 16 gigs of RAM, DDR4. Uh, you know, I got fans up the ass. My 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 uh, CPU is water cooled. Uh, I got an AX eighty six hundred uh, PSU. Like I'm fine, guys. Like this isn't gonna slow me down at all. As soon as I start my PC up, voice meter banana starts. I hear everything. It works just the same. Um, so uh, if you have issues with this, I don't know what to tell you. I use Windows ten. I have no problems. I pay for all my software. So there's that. Now let's talk about the audio settings in Windows 10. Uh, so this is what you want to pay attention to. So let's go ahead and put up sounds. All right, so if we scroll all the way down. So this is for playback. Uh, this is for playback here. Now, if we go and look at the properties for uh, Sennheiser headset, I mean, this, this, these are the levels. Uh, the, this is the advanced stuff, uh, the advanced uh, settings that I have. Uh, pretty straightforward and um also for playback this is this is important you want to set this as your default device voice meter input and this is vb audio voice meter v-a-i-o so if we go to properties go to levels you know it's whatever advance you know whatever that's it that's it guys so at this point in time my main pc the main gaming pc that i play black ops Battle right, um, Dota 2. This is ready to be streamed. Now we're going to go ahead and hop on over to the uh, streaming PC. And then once I go over all the settings, I'm going to show you what everything physically looks like. It's not that pretty. Uh, I could have ran the cables through the walls and shit, but it works. And it looks really, really cool. All right. So I am done with this recording. All right, guys, so what we got going on right now is I'm using uh, Streamlabs to record what's going on on my stream PC. So let's just go ahead and jump right into it. So I'm using the Elgato HD60 Pro capture card. So that's how I'm capturing my audio and my video. Um, so once you install the drivers and all the software, do not use the Elgato video capture software. I think it's terrible. Do not use their sound capture software. It is terrible. Make sure this is off. It needs to be off. I repeat, the Elgato sound capture software needs to be off. And do never, it, it never fucking open it again. All right. So um, now let's look at the playback settings. Now, this is going to probably differ a little bit from you. But this should not matter too much. You're not going to, like, I have voice meter uh, banana also installed, but I'm not using it. So I listen to my audio um, via a Focusrite audio interface, and I and I monitor my audio with these uh, Sennheiser Momentum uh, headphones because they're amazing. So general, this is what my settings look like. 
this is what my level is at. Uh, the advanced feature, yeah, that, that's right. So I got two, now this is the important part, because you want two channel 16-bit um, audio. Um, again, it, that, this, you want this to match what the, um, what the other settings are for all the other uh, uh, sound items that you're using. And um, okay, so that's it. Really straightforward. This could be anything. You can have like little earbuds, little cheapo headphones, um, you know, whatever. However you want to play back the audio. So you just want to be able to monitor it and you don't want to use speakers because if you're because then your friends are going to get annoyed because your microphone might pick it up. That's why you want actual um, headphones to monitor. All right, so recording. This is where it gets a little bit interesting. So right now, uh, again, for my stream PC, how my viewers on Twitch TV hear my voice they hear it through the uh the rode nt1a microphone so as you can see right here i'm i'm talking uh through my head sennheiser but on my uh stream pc my my voice is getting picked up from this so let's you need to pay if you're going to be using a, a condenser microphone in an audio interface you're going to want to listen to this part so this is the general now um this is the listen settings okay so far so good now this is uh, the important, this is what you need uh, to realize. You want one channel, 16-bit, 4800 hertz DVD quality. Now why one channel instead of two? Okay, because the, the Scarlett 2i2 audio interface has multiple channels. It actually has two. You So you can hook up a, an instrument with one channel and then a, a, a microphone with the other or two microphones if you're doing like a podcast or something. And, uh, you know, the audio is going to get picked up from both channels. Well, if I were to go two channels, you're only going to hear one side and it's really difficult to mix. I don't think you can mix it uh, in mono uh, with Streamlabs. So you want to get that out of the way, uh, get that out of the way as soon as possible so you're not... You know, your viewers aren't only listening to you on one side of the, the fucking ear. So, um, that's it, guys. All right, so I ended that last scene off kind of quickly, but we went through a lot of really good fundamentals in it. Um, when I was making that, that previous video, I was also going through, like, Streamlabs on the Stream PC and going through the settings and whatnot. Um... But for whatever reason, it didn't record properly, and I'm too fucking lazy. But I have these screenshots here, so you're gonna have to, you're just gonna have to bear with me, cause I'm not gonna fucking uh, record it again, unless I really have to, which I don't think I do. So you're gonna open up Streamlabs, and you're gonna be met. Um, we're gonna go to the mixer. We're gonna go to the mixer, and I'm gonna tell you why. Um, you're gonna check off down mix to mono, if you're uh if you're using an audio interface. And you're only getting uh, audio in one ear from, you know, when it comes to your voice, you want to mix it to mono. So you hear it in both. Um, if you want, I do this. You probably don't have to, but I like to monitor my um, my microphone just to make sure that everything is working clearly. Um, so, yeah, I put modern only mute output. Okay, pretty simple, right? All right, so let's move to the next step. And, of course, yeah, this is the mixer right here. Um, be mindful of desktop audio. Yeah, like on your main PC. If you play like a song or something, desktop audio is going to bounce around. That's how you're going to know that you're capturing the audio properly is the desktop audio um, right here. This is going to be moving around quite a bit. Let's go to the next page. All right. So uh, before I go to the next page, if you look over here where it sources, where it says the Elgato HD60 Pro, you're going to go ahead and right click that and click on properties. You're going to go ahead and configure video. And th these are the settings that I have it at. So, um, I mean, th I think this was default. But, yeah, this is generally what you're going to want it at. Um, and this is what you want to have the game capture device selected as. I think you're probably going to see two. So, I just I choose game capture HD60 Pro Video number 01. Uh, if you have problems with that and it doesn't work, there's another option. Just select that one. All right. And these are the settings that I have it at. Um, and it looks great. It looks really good. So of course the, the resolution, the FPS is going to be custom. We're going to have a uh, 1920 by 1080, 60 FPS video format. I don't really care. Um, the output. Okay. Now, now for the audio, again, you want the audio to, you want to get the audio right. So audio output mode, you want output desktop audio parentheses wave out. That's what you want it at. All right, so um, again, I alluded to the desktop audio earlier. 
So you're going to go ahead and uh, click on the little gear here. Yes, you want to use device timestamps, and then you want the device to be the default one. And that's it, guys. And that is how you're going to um, get the, uh, what's it called? Um, it's gonna get, That's how you're going to get the stream to work properly. I mean, this is the easiest setup that I could imagine. I don't have to go out and buy a mixer. I don't have to go out and buy a bunch of fucking cables. Um, I don't know how long this video is running, but uh, it shouldn't be no more than like 15 minutes, 15, 20 minutes. So, uh, yeah, man, this is my setup. Uh, this is how I do it. Um, I'm going to be showing a video later on, like everything, like like how it actually looks. Um, it, it's not that complicated. I mean, the, the diagram that I showed earlier... You know, with the fucking arrows and everything. I mean, it basically looked like it looks like that, sort of. I mean, it's connected like that. Um, you know, like the Streamlabs, uh, and uh, I mean, my streaming PC is just connected to my main PC. The main PC is connected to the monitor. My the monitor to my right over here is connected to my stream PC, and it all just works. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, I, I probably won't be able to help you just because your setup might be different. You might have different, you know, shit connected to your PC. Uh, but if you're starting from scratch and, you you know, you, you don't have that much, you know, to work with and you just want bare bones, um, you know, a bare bones production for your Twitch, then, you know, this is it. Uh, to be honest, I mean, bare bones or not, this this setup is, is better than most, to be honest. Um, it's been incredibly reliable. It's been very user friendly. And, um, well, actually it's not user friendly. I mean, it is now, but, um, it just, it just works. It works so well. All right. So that's about it guys. Thanks for listening. Peace out.